Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about Season 1 of Ray Donovan. Ray Donovan is a fixer. When a high-profile person messes up and wakes up with a dead prostitute in their bed, they call Ray Donovan to come over and make it go away. The show follows Ray in the different aspects of his life. First, his job and the different things he has to do for clients. Some of it is messed up. Second, his family. Ray has a wife, two kids, and shares a very strong, very loyal relationship with his brothers. And everything just becomes way more complicated when their father gets out of prison after 20 years. That father, by the way, played by John Voight in one of the best performances I've seen lately. I started watching this show without knowing too much about it, and I was very pleasantly surprised. I mean, there's no doubt that the makers of this show aim to put Ray up there with Walter White and Tony Soprano and Don Draper. Good, good guys. Obviously, I still need to watch the rest of the seasons to tell if it really is that good, but this is definitely a strong start. Ray leads a very complicated life, and the show definitely delivers that feeling of one thing after another. He always has to deal with something, and he very rarely gets a moment to himself. So when he does get that moment, he sometimes just breaks down. The character of Ray Donovan is a character that we've seen before. He is this tough, broken man. Deep down, he is a nice guy. He's the best at what he does, but what he does isn't very nice. We've, we've met, we've met. Having said that, and I'm sorry if I'm gonna butcher his name, but Liev Schreiber does such a great job as Ray Donovan, and apparently we like that sort of character because we keep seeing it again and again. I liked Ray Donovan as a character, and I found myself rooting for him. You do have to understand that a lot of this season is pretty standard. You've been introduced to these types of characters in the past, so some of this may feel familiar but that doesn't make the show any less good at what it does. And what it does isn't very nice. No, it is. It's, it's pretty nice. It's good. It's a good show. The characters themselves in Ray Donovan, even if they do sometimes fit into a mold, are pretty great. As a guy from Israel, I have to commend Stephen Bauer, who plays Avi, who is like an ex mossad special ops person, because of course he is. You can't be a character from Israel in a TV show or movie and not be ex mossad I am actually ex mossad myself. No, I'm not. That was a joke. Or was it? But Avi just nails the Israeli accent, and he's just an all-around great, fun character. Probably my favorite of the season. But there are actually a lot of other great characters. Lena, who also works with Ray. Ray's brothers, Abby, Ray's wife is also a very interesting character. I could have done with less focus on Ray's kids, that wasn't as good as the rest of the stuff, but overall I felt that the cast was just very strong, and that's why I didn't really mind that some of these characters are characters that we've seen before or have been introduced to before. And also just the Boston accents, that's, it's great, I love it. Father. No, I'm sorry. I apologize to anyone who is from Boston. Get in the car. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm terrible at everything. The story in this season starts out as a solid but pretty standard crime lawyers corruption type story. But somewhere towards the middle of the season, it gets, it goes one layer deeper and start digging into the past of Ray and his brothers and how their past affected them and how it affected their complicated relationship with their father. From that point, the show got significantly more interesting. You have this deep, dark, and violent story, while you also enjoy the fast pace of Ray's job. Speaking of pacing, this show sprints and then stops. The pacing is a bit uneven, but it didn't really bother me all that much because I felt that every time the show slowed down, there was a good reason for it. There is quite a bit of character development in this season. There has to be. Bottom line, should you watch it? I did like eight takes of that in a Boston accent but you will never see those. Ray Donovan is a great entry to the crime drama world. The fact that it's not anything groundbreaking doesn't make it any less good, but it might feel a little bit too familiar for some. I definitely enjoyed this season, and I would recommend it to anyone who's a fan of this genre, is a fan of this style. I don't feel it's like the best thing I've ever seen, but I do feel that this show goes on to be more unique and great. If you're all caught up on this show, in the comments down below, let me know, does this show go on to be great? But no spoilers, don't you spoil this for me. But other than that, have you watched season one of Ray Donovan? What were your thoughts about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's get the discussion going. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, 
Welcome! I'd like to invite you to join the Binge Watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It is a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. But in any case, keep binging. And I will see you next time. I think I just had a stroke.